At around 2 a.m. Friday morning, John Copenhaver arrived unannounced at my home in Las Vegas, Nevada. After he broke up with me in May, he moved out of my house and back to San Diego. When he arrived, he found myself and one other fully clothed and unarmed in the house. Without a single word spoken, he began beating my friend. Once he was finished, he sent my friend away and turned his attention to me. He made me undress and shower in front of him and then mm, dragged me out and beat my face. I have no recollection of how many times I was hit. I just know my injuries that resulted from my beating. My injuries include 18 broken bones around my eyes. My nose is broken in <clears throat> two places. I am missing teeth and several more are broken. I am unable to chew or see out of my left eye. My speech is slurred from my swelling and lack of teeth. I have a fractured rib and severely ruptured river, liver from kick to my side. My leg is so badly injured I have not been able to walk on my own. I also sustained several <clears throat> lesions from a knife he got from my kitchen. He pushed the knife into me in some areas. And such as my hand, ear, and head. He also sawed much of my hair off with a dull knife. After some time, the knife broke off at the handle, and he continued to threaten me with the blade. I believed I was going to die. He has beaten me many times before, but never this badly. He took my phone and canceled all of my plans for the following week to make sure no one would worry about my whereabouts. He told me he was going to rape me. After another hit or two, he left me on the floor bleeding and shaking, holding my side from the pain of my ribs. He left the room and went to the kitchen, where I could hear him rifling through my drawers. Assuming he was finding a sharper, more stable knife to end my life, I ran out my back door, shutting it behind me so that the dogs didn't run inside to tip him off. I hopped the fence to the golf course behind my house and ran to a neighboring house. Naked and afraid he would catch me, I kept running through the neighborhood, knocking on doors. Finally, one answered, and I was brought to the hospital and treated for my injuries. I would like to thank everyone for their support throughout this tough time. I am, I am healing fast and well. I appreciate all the prayers and visits I have received over the past few days. After many months of fear and pressure to keep this man happy, although I fear for my life, I feel that I can no longer put myself in this situation. The cheating by him nearly every day and almost weekly abuse is now more than I can stand. There is a $10,000 reward for the capture of Jonathan Copenhaver at this time. Please report any information to your local police. Last.